Grandma Sausage Cheesy Biscuits. Let's get it. All right, so got Jimmy Jean Sage up here. Did a little pan fry. I know I see some of you guys, they put it in their raw, all this other good stuff. That's not what I'm doing. I took a large thing of blocked cheddar, chopped it up. Grandma used to put it on a broiler, water broiler, like you do uh, chocolate and whatnot. Nuking this a lot quicker. So take this, strain off some of that oil. don't really have a recipe. It's kind of since I've been uh, doing this with my grandmother since I was about four years old. It's kind of a touch of feely thing. And uh, these really drive it home for me, especially right now around the holidays when I just hit uh, rest in peace. Grandma, uh, a couple days ago, had her anniversary. But anyway, so nuking the cheese. Want to get it melted. You got your sauces pretty much done. Once we get the cheese melted, we're going to add some of our bisquick. You notice know, some of y'all nowadays you want to change it up. You want to put some red lobster stuff in there. Guess what? Make red lobster stuff right out of that. Add a little garlic. Don't want some cold cheese. Bake it. Brush it with a little butter. But I'm not going to do all that. I'm doing a grandma style. Old scoop. So the cheese is melting, getting it stirred around here. With all of that nice and melting. A little bit longer. Now if you want it savory, you want to add some garlic and all that other stuff, go ahead and do it. Now if you really want to crush it, take some of these cheesy biscuits do some sausage gravy for breakfast. Pour some of that over there. Yeah, you take it to a different level. So, got the cookie sheet. Oven's preheated to 325. I know some of y'all scoop it out with an ice cream scooper and this, that, and the third. I don't do that. I do it like Grandma used to do it. She's a roll by hand. And that's what I'm doing. Cheese is melted. Alright, you see that now? Let me delete it. Take that. Take the sausage. Now, I didn't cook it to where it's burnt, 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 burnt. It's done, but it still needs a little bit of time. I tried it raw, and I just felt like it was a little too greasy. So, I'll mix that up with the cheese. And again, that was almost a whole big block. And this is going to be a little hot right now. And then you just start adding the biscuit. Grandma used to make this at Christmas. Since I was about four years old. Call me in there, boy. Come help me twist up some of these sausage cheese biscuits. So it flashes me back like nobody minute. They're delicious. Grandma was the glue. Now grandma's gone. Glue's gone. And that's gone because you gotta get in there with your hands. You gotta mix it up. You gotta feel it. You gotta smush it around a little bit. Don't want it too cheesy. Got to have enough of the biscuits to actually turn it into a biscuit. A little bit more. I think Grandma needs to do about four cups of biscuits. And then if you got the shredded cheese, I think you do about two of the eight ounce containers and then one of the Jimmy Dean. Obviously, Jimmy Dean's got all kinds of sausage. You could do spicy, you could do mild, you could do sage. 
And you live someplace else, you can do some of that Tennessee stuff. This has always been the go-to. So, again, you got to get it to where it's where it needs to be. Can't have it too cheesy. So then you simply just get it out. Grease up your pan. I roll them in the balls just like grandma used to do. Depending on the size of the ball, 325, you're going to go 18 to 22 minutes depending on the size. Try those out. Let me know what you think. Hit the like button, subscribe, and enjoy.